Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name's Alan Sams, um, and today we're taking a look at the Squire Classic Vibe 70s Stratocaster. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this guitar, it kind of has a little bit of a story behind it. About probably a month ago, I was watching the Know Your Gear um, YouTube channel, hosted by Philip McKnight's, his, his channel, and he had done a video on uh, how he had purchased an Affinity, a Squire Affinity Stratocaster, and, and he purchased it from Sweetwater, and he had them pluck the guitar. And I thought, that's a great idea. I'm getting ready, personally, I'm getting ready to start guitar lessons again. I've played guitar for a long time, but it never hurts to have you know, to continue to take lessons and to get a refresher from time to time. Now, the, I take it when I take guitar lessons, I have to leave my guitar and my truck all day. And I'm not really comfortable with leaving, say, I don't know, one of my you know, CE or my Paul Reed Smith Core 594. Those, uh, you know, that would uh, actually... You know, if something happened, someone broke into my truck and stole one of those guitars, it would be pretty upsetting to me. So I thought about, well, I could order um, a Squire. Now, it's not that Squire, it wouldn't upset me if someone broke into my truck and stole my Squire, but the Squire is practically, it's, it's more replaceable. It's a, there's the possibility of being able to replace this guitar if something were to happen. So after seeing uh, Philip McKnight's video about how he had his uh, plucked, and plucking is a, it's a computerized, uh, high quality setup. And so what they do is they take the guitar, they put it in a machine, the machine comes down, measures the neck, measures the frets, and levels everything um, by grinding down the frets and makes everything level. And then they take it out and they, um, they have a technician who actually rounds the end of the frets finishes the setup, does the polishing, um, and if it's done right, it'll make any guitar feel like a million bucks. This classic Vibe 70 Stratocaster features a maple neck with a maple fingerboard. It also has three Fender-designed Alnico single-coil pickups, a Fender-designed vintage bridge. I'm just, I'm really impressed with the overall guitar itself, as, as far as like, I know Squire's really upped their game over the years, and I know the classic, classic Vibe line, has upped its game, but when you pay out the extra money for a really nice setup, um, wow, it really helps this thing shine. It just sounds fantastic, plays fantastic, very easy to, you know, bends are effortless. I actually had to stop and think, man, am I playing nines and I actually have this strung with tens? Um, so I, I was really, really impressed with the outcome of the guitar, and uh, I was really impressed with um, Sweetwater's work. Put a little overdrive on it. So anyway, yeah, you know, it's it's funny. So uh, I got this guitar for for a really uh, good price. It was a it was a floor model, had a couple scratches on it, and then uh, so I'm sure that I'm sure the technicians at Sweetwater are probably laughing their butts off when they see this guitar come through and it's being designated for for plucking because plucking is a it's a two hundred and fifty dollars service, um, <laughs> which really I, I didn't pay much more for the guitar itself. So. Um, but in order to, to do what I wanted to do, that's what I felt like it had to be done. And um, it's just a phenomenal guitar. I've really been enjoying playing it. Um, as far as, now listen, I'm not a person who does the whole, you know, Squire versus Vendor, you know, Squire Affinity versus a Fender Ultra. I'm not that guy. So 
I'm not going to sit here and tell you that, you know, electronically this guitar would be as good as a high-end um, Fender model, American-made model. I'm not going to tell you that it's electronically it's on any level with my, my Paul Reed Smith or my Rickenbackers, but I will tell you this, with a proper setup, um, the way this guitar, you know, with the proper setup, the work that they did on these frets, um, this guitar is as comfortable as any of my high-end guitars could possibly be. So I don't really know um, if Phil McKnight, Philip McKnight was happy with his, um, with his experiment, but his experiments certainly made me very happy. Um, and I would recommend it, quite honestly. I, I thought Sweetwater did a fantastic job. Um, and it took a $300 guitar and made it feel like a million bucks. And um, I mean, really, if you were a beginner, that would be ideal. That's going to ensure that somebody who's starting out to play guitar will continue to play because half that battle at the beginning is learning is, you know, sometimes beginners guitars are, are not very well set up and they're they're not comfortable to play. And that's when you'll lose a student. But anyway, again, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please, uh, you know, click like and share it with somebody. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.